In a world where everybody seems to have their heads stuck in their phones <laughs> or their iPads, there's a new trend that's catching on like wildfire. Have you heard about this prior to today? I haven't. I hadn't either. I haven't. They're called escape rooms. Now that I've heard about it, I wonder why didn't I come up with that? So here's the concept. You, your friends, maybe even a date. You go inside of a locked room and the goal is you have to get out by solving clues. We put our very own News Channel 5's Andrew Ruiz to the test. Take a look, see how he did. You have 60 minutes. Find me or you are doomed. Stuck in a classroom without a way out. Oh, oh yeah. great, great, great. Scrambling to find any clues that may help us to Thank unlock you. the door. This is the great escapist. From the outside, it looks like any ordinary building, but from the inside, the writing is on the wall. Maybe we have to solve this? In a team challenge, you're given 60 minutes to solve puzzles, answer riddles, and find a way out. Activities like this spreading like wildfire. This is because it's more interactive. You actually have to communicate with people. So other than going to a movie or a sporting event, here you're actually part of the movie. You're part of the drama. The first room we completed in record time. <laughs> but I'll admit, it was not all my doing. This time, we brought more recruits to help us defuse the escape room bomber. Zero. Oh, oh. The experience like no other. You guys did great. You were communicating. You worked together as a team. So Teamwork that opens up new doors. <laughs> serving as the real key oh, to this puzzle. Team Early Risers, team. <laughs> May I just say my wow. palms are sweating just watching this? I, I think I would freak out. Did you did good. And, did two you rooms. Did, and you got out. You did, in under an hour. In under an hour on both of the rooms. I mean, honestly, we had a great team that had done challenges like yeah. this before. So in that case, it was easy. It but I thought it was really interesting because of the date component. You know, you go, you sit, you watch a movie, whatever. Sure. But you're not engaged. You get to Here know Here you somebody. get to connect with and someone. And work together. Exactly. And see if you can on work together. On a scale of one to ten, how hard? Um, the bomber one I thought was like an eight. The wow. other one was about a six. So you definitely have to take people who enjoy to do these things. Is it logical thinking or abstract thinking? I mean, how do you have to think? Because I'd be too, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd be too. Fun. I think it's a combination of okay. the two. You have to be very vigilant in these rooms because you have clues that are hidden, like in bookshelves, and then you just have to look for all these you different gotta, things, and you don't have necessarily direction. You have like three just, clues. That's so. throwing a wrench into. You've got to find the clue sure. first. So oh, I thought the clues were kind of given to yeah. you. Yeah. You find the clues, then have to solve them, and that's then figure right. out. How you hold <laughs> up under pressure? So if you do this as a first date. Just warning, it could be your last. It might be your last. Oh, maybe. Ooh, maybe. You find out before the beginning of something right. new. That might be a good How thing. The jury is out for that. Yeah. Love that. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I love us. that. Thanks, Appreciate guys. it.